द बिगेस्ट मिडिल क्लास ड्रीम इज टू ओन योर ओन हाउस फॉर दैट यू नीड ई एम आई एज सुन एज यू स्टार्ट योर ई एम आई वी वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट प्रीपेइंग एंड क्लोज द लोन एज सुन एज पॉसिबल बिकॉज वी नो देर आर फिफ्टी लैख लोन विल बिकम वन पॉइंट टू सी आर इफ वी टेक इट टू ट्वेंटी ईयर्स एंड वील अर्न नथिंग आउट ऑफ इट एज एन इन्वेस्टर वेन वी डिसाइड टू सेल द हाउस while this approach at the loan level reduces the loan tenure rapidly and we pay least interest to the bank in the bigger scheme of things when you look at your own complete holistic financial plan this may not be the most prudent thing to do at all points of time to illustrate this concept i have created a very simple excel based model in fact i have considered not one or two but 10 parameters that contribute to the decision whether i should prepay a loan or not today these parameters will be different at different points of your life so the outcome of the model will change from time to time person to person towards the end of the video i'll share one best practice which i've learned the real hard way it may save you several lakhs of rupees in your loan tenure so do watch the video till time then to dive into the model first let me quickly walk through the 12 parameters i have configured initially it started with 10 and then it became 12 job stability or double income which means between you and your spouse how stable is your paycheck home loan rate whether it is high or low stock markets if they are down right now model would encourage you to use the money to buy stocks for the long run which will give you a lot better return than prepaying the loan if you have another emi or a construction link plan running in parallel maybe a car loan the model suggests reduce your loans so it will encourage prepayment passive income if that's covering your expenses the model will know that yes you can spare more money for prepayment it will encourage it if you are using less liquidity model is more encouraging if you are going to burn a lot of cash available with you in terms of percentage then the model reduces the weightage if you have gold in reserve because i see lot of uncertainties ahead so more gold will encourage prepayment if equity is less in the portfolio then it is considered to be a stable portfolio and the model will be fine if you have a lot of equity then the model understands that the value of that portfolio may get go down significantly if the markets fall so it will discourage prepayment selling in liquid investments like ppfs or another property model will understand you don't get cash flow out of it so it will encouraging using that cash to offset the loan age wise model will discourage prepayments if you are young it will encourage prepayments if you are approaching retirement education reserves for your kids if they are high model will encourage prepayment if the loan tenure is high in terms of what remains then the model will encourage prepayment if just 4 5 years are left mostly principal is left so model says why pay the principal there is no interest left so use the money elsewhere let's now go to the model itself these are the parameters which we show on the lookup sheet the ratings are drop downs which are the values which we saw below the parameters if you choose for example high as your paycheck then the model will encourage prepayment like i mentioned if this is stable the weighted score reduces overall weighted score results into a confidence in percentages this is the percentage confidence of pre closing a loan as the confidence goes down the recommendation becomes more defensive from full full closure to partial closure to partial payment only to no payment let's take the example of my real life situation so i have prefilled some of the values let me quickly tell you why i chose them job stability i chose stable so i have taken a break to try out some ideas so there's only one paycheck coming home loan rates like i mentioned it's high right now stock market is peaking in my opinion another year i know there is nothing else passive income is covering most of our living exp minimum expenses right now 75% liquidity that i'll use is low 25% as i have converted some equity to liquid cash already 12 months of gold reserves which means minimum expenses how many months of those i can afford from a gold investment equity as portfolio is less which is 25% age 45 to 55 selling in liquid investments no 2 plus years of education reserves loan remaining is about 10 plus this gives me a score of 650 and a confidence of 50% the model says you can prepay a little assume this loan was 15 years plus model suddenly says you can now go and partially close because there is a lot of loan remaining if the stock market crashed suddenly this goes down to 31% confidence and only little prepayment is encouraged if i had less gold reserve say 6 months only this goes down further 
if my passive income was low, say 50%, the model will say, please don't repay anything. Keep the money in your hand. Each and every parameter changes the confidence and that is very, very useful in modeling your real life. Now, let me show you the advanced configurations. Weight is what I can change. For example, if I want to give a higher weight to stock market, the total weights are 120. Stock market has a 10 weight right now. Let me make it 15. Suddenly, the confidence goes down to 15% from 23%. But if stock markets were peaking, this 15% will go to 48%. So stock market as a parameter is now making a higher impact to the overall score. This is the tuning that you can apply to various weights. If you change everything to 20, then nothing happens. Like it's equal weight again. Idea is to distribute the weights, reduce it where you feel that the impact is lower in your decision, increase it where you feel that the impact is higher. Min-max values are the scores corresponding to these drop-downs. What is the lower side of the score? How is the higher side of the score? Weight it is the min max multiplied by weight. These give you a cumulative weight based upon the value you have chosen in the rating drop down. So for example, if you choose unstable, this will become minus 50 from 50. If this weight was 20, then this will change to minus 100, not minus 50, which means it will bring down the overall weighted score more because the job is unstable right now. If you want to change anything, you can go to the lookups tab, tinker with these values. You have to change the drop down once to reflect it in the model sheet. A link to this Excel is available in the comment section below. Please feel free to download the model, change it the way you want. Please feel free to share the video or the link of this Excel or the Excel itself with your friends and family. When you are repaying your loan, don't reduce your tenure, reduce your EMI. Most people don't even know there's an option like this. And if you ask your bank, they may actually discourage or say this option is not available. So make sure when you take the loan, you have checked that this option is available with your bank. Now, why am I recommending this? Suppose you have a 50 lakh loan remaining and you have prepaid 10 lakh right now. If you reduce the EMI, then you will potentially reduce say a 50,000 EMI to 40,000, which is like 1.2 lakh saved extra every year in terms of not paying the bank. Now, what will happen is at the end of this year, if you have another 10 lakh to pay, you can add that 1.2 lakh extra that you saved by not paying that to the bank and add it to the kitty, which means now you can actually pay 11.2 lakh, which is about 10 to 15% higher. So now your loan amount will go down considerably. Next year now you can actually pay 12 or 13 lakh by the same logic. So over time, in the next couple of years, two, three years, you will be able to even more aggressively reduce the net principal outstanding. One more side effect is if you are paying 40,000 instead of 50,000, the interest component of that amount itself will be lower, which means the absolute amount you will pay to the bank as interest will actually be lower compared to paying a, on a higher EMI of 50,000. So it becomes a, even a bigger win for you. I'll actually add one more best practice, though I said one. Home loans are the cheapest loans available to an individual because it has a collateral which is your home. So now you can take additional loans on it at a very low rate. Additionally, suppose you are taking a risk, maybe starting a business. You won't be able to get another home loan because there's no paycheck. So there is no point in reducing the cash by prepaying this loan if you might want to take another loan in future, which could end up being costlier or it, you may not be eligible eventually. So use the discretion to prepay the loan in line with your financial plan for next four or five years so that you can use this eligibility and percentage rate to your advantage. One of my life's costliest mistakes, somewhere around 2006, we made our first purchase in real estate. And we bought not one, but two apartments, one for us, one for our parents. Over the next two years, we cut down on each and every possible expense, saved every penny we could and prepared the loans aggressively. Now that brought down the loans considerably over the next couple of years. They were smaller loans. However, we could not invest into equity cycle at all. If you have seen the graphs, equity peaked around 2008 just before the Lehman Brothers crisis, but the markets went up nearly 3x in those two or three years. We missed those opportunities. Now, that's not the end. Being in investment banking at that time, I got caught by FOMO. And then the terrible mistake I made was I bought stocks like Suzlon at the very peak. And then we lost a lot of money when the markets tanked. 
बट दैट वॉज नॉट द एंड वॉट हैपन वॉज दैट ए किल्ड आर मोराल टू इन्वेस्ट इन टू इक्विटी एंड ऑल्सो बिकॉज लॉस इज इट किल्ड आर एपेटाइट सो वी कुड नॉट इन्वेस्ट इन द इक्विटी मार्केट फॉर नेक्स्ट कपल ऑफ इयर्स अगेन एंड वी कंटिन्यूड पेइंग द लोन्स सो द बुल रन दैट फॉलोड टिल प्रॉब्लम द स्पेनिश क्राइसिस इन टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन फोर्टीन वी अगेन डिड नॉट मेक एनी मनी इन इक्विटी सो दोज टू लोन्स एंड द टाइमिंग ऑफ प्री पेमेंट द अग्रेसिवनेस ऑफ प्री पेमेंट एक्चुअली रिड्यूस्ड आर एपेटाइट टू मेक मनी आउट ऑफ अ रेजिंग बुल रन टू क्लोज टू जीरो इन दिस मॉडल आई हैव ट्राइड टू कैप्चर ऑल द लर्निंग फ्रॉम दैट फेज यू जस्ट हैव टू चूज द राइट ऑप्शन डाउनलोड द एक्सेल ट्राई टू मॉडल योर लाइफ इन टू इट यूज टू टेक योर डिसीजन जस्ट यूज इट एज एन एड डोंट गो जस्ट बाय द मॉडल please share your feedback in the comment section on how you found the model if there is any deficiency or something wrong please let me know i'll be happy to correct and reupload the model with the modifications thanks for watching